So, Chris, day two of our Eden adventure. We waited for a rise, which did happen. Vaguely. Vaguely. There were some cracking fish came when they came, but it was sparse, it's been cold. And because it was cold, I noticed pretty much from the off, so first, certainly first thing this morning, you went to your nymphing rig, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Would you mind talking us through this setup that's been effective today for you, buddy, please? Yeah, no problem, I told you. So the rod I've been using is the Guideline LPX 10 foot 2 3 weight. Uh, and I've had it paired with the new Fario click reel. What I will say is I put the 2.3, I've paired it with the 2.3 and I think it balances out perfect. Mm. And because it's super light, it's not taxing on your arm when your eye's sticking all day. Because right. when we were on infant, we've constantly got his arm up here. Yep. So we don't want to feel like we're lifting a lead weight. Line wise, I'm using some 14 pound yellow uh, line, which is quite visible. Yeah, so it's easy to pick up. But my strike indicator is the thing that I'm looking at um, when it's on the water. And my strike indicator is made up in two parts. The first part is a cord out of a shooting head. And the reason I'm using that is because if you notice when I skewer it, see how it crinkles? Yeah. So when that is hung on the water like that, the slightest movement, you, can see you know it. that it's a take or, or it's bottom. Yeah. yeah? But it's really uh, visible. But sometimes everybody's eyesight's different, Jim, so I might pick yellows up really well, you might pick whites up. So I like to have a tri or a bicolour line underneath that, then if I'm not picking the yellow up, yeah. I can see the other colours in got there, because different sense. light conditions. Um, I noticed you've got these big tags on here, Chris. Yeah. I'm, I'm figuring you've not forgot your glasses, but <laughs> Definitely they're there for a they reason. Are, they are, Jim. Uh, if you look at these tags that are left on, they're actually easier to see when the fly line moves got it. than they are if you, if you haven't got anyone. Got it. Yeah? Yeah. So it's to help sight the mm -hmm. takes. Connected to that, I'm using Igor fluorocarbon, yep. guideline fluorocarbon. Uh, really supple, uh, which I like. It adds life into flies. Uh, total length of leader, I've been using six foot total length. Okay. And I've been using two flies. Uh, I've been using a point, point fly with the four milli bead. Yeah. And I've been using a dropper in back approximately 18 inch to two foot. And I've been using a two milli bead at, okay. on that dropper. So you've got heaviest fly on the point, I noticed, because I have seen people doing it the other way about at times. Yeah, yeah. I have fished it both ways, yeah. but I must admit that this way seems to be more productive for me. Okay. And as the fly, the heavier point fly is coming down the, the water gym, yeah. it's working as a braking system for me as well. Got you. So it's slowing the fly down a little bit and it's giving the, the trout more time to look at. Right. That makes perfect yeah. sense. Yeah, get it. A uh, couple of tips is I like to put O-rings on my rod. And the reason I do that is so that I can hang my droppers on them. Right. So when you're walking through vegetation, not dangling around, dangling around, catching on. And stuff. how many times do you get to a pool? Yeah. And your dropper is all tangled up because it's yeah. around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that makes really, sense. really handy. And it also, when you're shooting line, it stops the line sticking to if your rod's wet. Uh, it okay. Stops the line sticking. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense too. Yeah. And then finally, uh, if you cannot pick up on your sight indicator. You can buy wax, so there'll be certain lights you still might not be picking up. Yeah. And you just rub the wax on and it gives it a different colour and it's ivies. Cool. So that's an handy little tip as well. Cool, cool. For cool. anybody who's looking or, or even really into the Euro nymphing. Awesome, Chris. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense, buddy. Thanks for sharing. No awesome. problem. You enjoyed it the last couple of days. Yeah, it's, it's been, been great fun, mate. It's great to see you.